So denim terminology. Before we actually go into the full detail, I think it's best if we start with what is denim. So denim is a woven fabric of twill. You have a vertical and a horizontal, the warp and the weft. The warp is a twill which is indigo dyed and the weft is left in its natural form. As these are woven together, you get that really nice grainy denim feel. And that primarily is what jeans are. Now, as a customer, if you're not used to buying quality denim and haven't bought denim that often, you probably most likely bought what we class as a wash jean, a jean that's been produced in a factory, lots of different construction and washes to give that real soft, easy feel. Here at Liquor Store, we offer a little bit of different choice as well. We want to start with denim in its purest form, and a phrase in the denim industry is known as raw denim. This first jean here that we're going to talk about is a raw denim. As you can see, rich in indigo colour. If you feel the product, it's very rigid. That's because it consists of a lot of starch. As you would wear this jean, it will actually naturally soften. It'll break in, it'll give to you, and it will become your jean. This is where all denim actually starts from. So back in the 1920s and onwards, when denim became such an iconic product, it will always have been made in this way. And this way, when customers buy denim today and they want a raw pair, is they want to buy that real purest angle. So that's raw denim. And for a lot of our customers, that's what they want from us. However, we understand everybody's needs are different. And we really want to talk about what other options we can offer for you. The next jean we're going to show you is an Oslo jean. And this is a wash, what they class as a one wash. Really simple. It's basically taking that raw jean that's got a lot of starch in it, and feels very rigid, and literally giving it one wash treatment in the factories. So it gives you that slubby feel and that real soft handle to it, which makes the wear very easy from day one. You can also move through into what we class as a really washed out pair of jeans. And this is where we pick up on a bit more of our denim terminology again. This is an Edwin jean, and they're actually one of the first brands to actually introduce washes, as you see here, into the ranges of denim. No other brand had done this. So when you look at a jean like this, you'll see that it's got a real vintage feel to it. It's very washed through. When we choose denim brands to stock in the store and options to offer, we just make sure that this washing process isn't contrived. If it looks unnatural that these fades wouldn't have come from a raw pair of jeans, we don't want to offer it. Whereas when you see a jean like this, it looks as if this jean was made 20 years ago and that someone's loved it and worn it and had that nice change to it. When you look at the jean, you'll see some distressing detailing at the top. This is classed as whiskering. So when you buy a pair of raw jeans like we spoke about, you won't see any of that. However, the journey you take it on, you'll start to really see that whiskering coming through. It's where the denim starts to crease and soften and the indigo changes a little bit in color. But obviously on this one, you'll see an element of that whiskering already. When we look at the back of the jean, You'll also see some distressing coming through from the knee down. This is called honeycombing, a very similar technique to the whiskering on the front. And again, this shows that sort of real vintage worn effect as if you've taken that jean from a raw and worn it all the way through. So we've talked about raw and washed denim. Now we're gonna talk about something which everybody asks me about, selvage. So when it comes to selvage, what is it? Well, it actually stands for self edge it's a narrow band of fabric along the outside of a jean. Let me show you. When you look at a jean, you actually can't see that it's a salvage jean. But when we actually put a turn up on a jean, and this is another term that people ask about, wearing a turn up, you actually see the salvage. This is the salvage detail here. So it's actually made with inside the jean and it runs down the outside of the denim. So when you put that nice little roll up on over your trainers, a nice American boot, you see that lovely detail. This historically, back in the day, was when the original brands such as Levi's, Lee and Wrangler produced jeans, they were all made in the original factory. And in that factory, a way of identifying the jeans was different colors of salvage. Historically, they all started with a white detail, and then Levi's decided that they wanted to use red, and other brands chose different colors. On this one that we're looking at here is an Edwin one, and this is classed as a rainbow salvage. So at Liquor Store, we obviously offer a wide depth of salvage denim. 
Now, one of the things people ask me about, and, and sometimes it's a bit of a misconception, is that salvage denim has to be on a raw jean like this one. Not always the case. This is a Levi's Vintage 1984 jean, replicated as we spoke in some of the previous videos from that iconic exact fit from the 1984. Being a wash denim, here it is with salvage detail. So just to dispel the myth, you can actually get salvage denim in a raw form or in a wash form. As I mentioned at Liquor Store, we've got a lot of depth of salvage denim. And most of the guys or girls that want to buy into that are buying it because it's purist. They want to buy it in its original form and they want to wear a nice turn up to show that detail off. It's a bit of a status of today, but it's great if you're walking around and you see people with salvage denim, you're part of our denim club. So we've now covered some of the main points when it comes to denim terminology. However, there are hundreds of other areas to cover. We're just going to touch on a few of the key bits as well for you. So when we look at the jean, you'll notice straight away, usually a leather patch at the top of the denim. This is known as the twitch patch. And it's just a way of identifying really the brand name and a little bit of brand information. As we move down the jean, on the back pocket, you'll usually find some sort of stitch design. This is called an arcuate. Each brand will have their own arcuate. And again, it's another way of identifying that jean. It's become sort of a signature to that brand. When we look at the back of the jean as well, this detail coming across here is called the yoke of a jean. And you'll see that it's curved. The bigger the curve, the more shape that it will give you in terms of fit. When we open up the jean, you'll see classic details, which a lot of people have heard of, like rivets. Rivets were always added onto jeans to help with extra support at the areas that might fray in denim. So around the pocket linings, etc., you'll find rivet details. When you go onto the back of the jean, rivets have now been taken off. This was down again to that sort of more heritage Western era, where when they were riveted, you'd find the cowboys in that day, when they're riding their horses, their saddles would get scratched, and actually they'd have to replace the saddles quicker than they did their jeans. So now you'll extra have extra stitch work detail here, which is known as bar tacks. On this nudie jeans today, this is a good example of what a bar tack is. It's just a reinforced extra bit of stitch work, which just keeps that pocket shape in line. Other details on a pair of jeans, the classic belt loops. This is something which is on nearly every jean in the world today. And obviously, naturally, you can put your belt across there and that will hold your jean in place. Historically, no denim had belt loops. They would have what they class as a cinch back. This was run across the back of the jean and it was a bit of fabric and detail where you'd hoist the jean into your size and spike it to keep it in place. The final term I want to talk about is a term called denim head. What is a denim head? It's the kind of person that has always bought raw salvaged denim. They love wearing it. They don't want to wash their jean. They just want to see it naturally go on that unique journey and become individual to them. So through these videos, we hope that helps start your journey. But if you've got any other further questions, feel free to give us a call. There's always more to learn and we're always happy to help.